What's up dudes, Kublikon here, and welcome to our character we are playing for Automatron. Yes, I am prepping our character to get the most robotic person out there. And tomorrow, we're going to have the first release of our character who's actually in Automatron. Ooh, I can't wait. So are you guys ready to meet the new dude? Well, I've actually gone with the direction of this person being Kublikon, the same Kublikon who, uh... Ended up getting killed in the very, very beginning of our playthrough. Look at them glasses. He's a good looking dude. Now we are currently outside the Watts Electronics, uh, excuse me, Watts Consumer Electronics building. Where this gives you a certain tape that allows you to hack into Protectrons. Have them follow you around and the like. And so I've picked up a character who now is going to have, first of all, he's going to be level 15 so that he can access the Automatron. And we've turned him into... A weapon melee built wielding guy and I went with that decision to have him be sneaking and do stuff like this because I think it would be really cool to have a dude who could sneak up to robots and then go and alter them to do what he needs them to do we're currently wearing the, the Minuteman charisma hat because that's the only hat that I own I uh, literally just took a character from the start of the game popped him up to level 15 and uh, now we have him uh, well trying to figure out his way and get some useful materials here's our one weapon machete which is pretty sick but it's not even leveled up or serrated blade or anything so let's hop into the watts electronics building and see what's going down <laughs> good job dog meat good job so uh our character i made him into a science-based character so i want him to have like electrified swords and stun batons maybe the shish kebab i think that would be a lot of fun and as we're trying to complete the levels of the automatron, it will be very cool to have that capability. Shh. Yeah. Let's hack this dude. Okay, this is the first time I've ever had the opportunity to hack characters. Activate unit. Um, that's the only option I get, is activating him. Is he gonna like attack me? Holy crap, I think he's actually going to attack me. Shut him down. Yeah. Oh, I did not realize that was how that would work. Okay. Um. All right, I knew that I couldn't make them, like, good or bad, but I didn't realize that I could, like, hack them and completely do it that kind of way. Well, let's see what its self-destruct looks like. Let's get out of there. Uh, dog meat, you might want to move. Let's get a view of this. So I'm on survival right now. No experience for doing that, huh? I wonder if I have to hit him once to be able to get any experience for that. Oh, we got some good stuff out of him. Uh, I also know that I have to get to a higher level before I can start telling them like specific commands or saying, hey, incite to attack enemies and things. Tech. Let's see. Okay, so I can activate, I cannot activate. What happens if I hit you first? All right, I've beaten him down a bit. A couple more times. Lower health. I would like to see if now when I initiate the explosion, if that would cause them to, uh... All right. Come on, dog. Thank you. Let's get a good view of this again. Dog meat, you might want to... I did get experience from that one. I did, in fact, hear the ting. There we go. But I didn't see any experience pop up. That is a really fun effect, being able to cause robots to explode like that. I'm pretty stoked about this. Having a character that can do that relatively well. Okay, so as we're coming through this area, we're looking to get the abilities to, you know, stick with a very robotic-focused fo character. Uh, with the sneaking, requires the terminal. Okay. And I'm pretty excited about these options that we're going to be doing. Uh, a couple things that are important that are different than the normal playthrough. This is gonna be like a... Oh god, what the... It's a small bug that I totally missed. Uh, this is on survival, for one. Which is different, because normally we do our permadeath role plays on a normal difficulty. But because I wanted to have the opportunity to play through this kind of... In how I would normally play it through, but with a little bit of a twist. Which uh, I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, I thought, hey, let's go ahead and we'll up the difficulty. 
And then we will also have this work where we will have the higher difficulty character not need to die like our normal permadeath stuff. Um, nothing's really happening. I don't understand what's so hard about this. All I'm asking you is off the military protocols so we can put them in demo mode in the store. Wow, what a jerk. Cooper seems like, don't be like that, Mr. Felix. I mean, Cooper's probably just trying. Anyway, um, one of the uh, the things related to it is that I liked, I looked at the votes that you all gave me and you said, hey, we're looking for like more of a role play where that we can actually just sort of lock tight. Don't have that. That's done with. Mr. Really, Mr. Handy, where are you, big guy? Dude, I, I was thinking about running around with Codsworth, actually, because that makes sense as like a, a robot character. Um, but at the moment, I just didn't know what kind of robot expectations we would have. And I originally was going to set up the character to have the Lone Wanderer perk to get that 15% damage reduction. In oh! Assistant Manager Handy. Ow! Okay. Hmm. Not a lot of damage if we're just running straight into somebody. Oh wait, quick hack. This is interesting. So I can do quick hacks mid fight, huh? Well, let's uh pop that mutt chop. Okay, my my compass has completely disappeared. There, now it's back. There we go. Level eleven experience. Oh. Mr. Handy, come back, come back, come back, come back. One hit, hack. This is kind of an, in, an inst oh, and then we do an instant shutdown. Oh, okay. And I could just bash him down. <laughs> this works pretty well. Huh. This is a good character for this area. And the fact that we just keep shutting people down or causing them to detonate. I like that. That is good to do. But anyway, like I mentioned, I just wasn't sure uh, if I was going to do the Lone Wanderer perk. And I know that the dog doesn't set off uh, the negative effects of not this. doing the Lone Wanderer perk. As in, you still get to be the Lone Wanderer even if you're just using um, or that benefit even when the dog's around. Just to make sure you guys know what I'm chatting about here. So, that one specifically. Um, dog vicious snarl. Hey, Mr. Handy. Ow! God. So, it, I was curious if it would give me the opportunity to um, hack him. Like, mid uh, vats thing. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Alright, dog. You might want to get back, dude. Oh, hey, Mr. Handy. Um, You're not going to like that over there. <laughs> uh, hey, good for you, dog. You didn't get too hit. And check this out. So people would go in here and buy stuff I see is uh, the general way of things being done. I guess we'll just shut this guy off Fortunately, I can't talk to him, but he doesn't seem to be attacking us either Just the dogs seem to be attacking him. You know what just for niceness Let's put him to sleep rather than killing him like all the other ones that we've been doing Take all this stuff out which would be useful to have Okay, so I was thinking there. Nope dog go out of the way uh, I was thinking that would kind of work for to change things up from doing our typical permadeath role plays where we have a character who has, you know, the, the general limitations of actually getting killed. I thought it would be interesting to turn on death like we typically do on uh, like the end of the actual thing. Like when we're fighting the bad guy, the final boss. Shipment is procured and on its way. Leave your payment at the drop-off site and the amount we discussed. Don't get cheap on me now, Felix. These are some high-grade robotics I'm getting for you. Disable military protocols. Dear asshole, I quit. Cooper. Yeah, Cooper. I'm happy that... Suck on it, Felix. Did you say that at the bottom? Suck on it, Felix. I love it. Safe control. Oh, I didn't even see a safe around here. That's exciting. The other thing is I want to make sure that we can still goof around and check out some of the... Uh, make sure we get to activate most of the perks and a new material that comes in this particular DLC that's coming out. Now, where is the safe that they had mentioned? Who throws whiskey into the waste bin like that? This doesn't seem a little... Ah, here we go. Got some more stuff there. Um, fortunately, we can't talk to him once we've uh, knocked him out. But, uh, alright, well, we'll leave that be. Pop another mole rat chunk. Delicious foods. So... Anywho, we got our character, we're doing our thing. 
Uh, we're sticking with a robotics focused character who is using melee weapons to eventually update these melee weapons. And I'm thinking like almost Jedi esque, where it's like we're using some. God damn it, they freaking bugs keep scaring the crap out of me when they show up like that. Okay, um, clipboards, stuff like that. I was thinking about getting this, um, this scrapper perk as well to help with uh, the creation of new people. We also have an increased blacksmith and an increased uh, armor, which I think will also help with the development of these new characters. Uh, man, there's some good stuff here for us to build things with. I like it. Exciting thing to see. Oh, Commonwealth, damn it, no! I've, uh, I've talked about before where it's like, you see what Jesse does, you know, with drugs and that kind of thing. You see what, uh, Nick had to do, you see what Mike had to do, and all these various, variety of different emotions and characters, Raider, Jessica, what Alex's requirements were. Um, this character, I felt like, hey, let's just, let's go through and let's do a yes. run and experience what Kublai would do. And at the moment, Kublai tends to be an individual who, not necessarily a killer, but definitely someone who is not terribly against stealing stuff for one's own benefit and kind of pushing things around and taking advantage of others. Um, but I prefer to talk my way through a lot of things if I can. Like, I love getting high charisma checks as I play, which is part of the reason why uh, you can see my character is currently wearing fashionable glasses and then another charisma boosting hat. Which I gotta love the fact that you can wear a hat and people are like, yeah, you, you are much more of a trustworthy person. Now, I'm trying to locate where this tape is that will allow us to uh, turn protectrons into our buddies. All right, let's see if we're able to do this. Get dog meat to locate the tape for us. Great. <laughs> that didn't work. All right, so like the smartest of all people, I got to really, truly roleplay myself as Kublai Khan because I totally missed where the hackability uh, location was. Um, turns out it's down in this room in a magazine. And I bet it's, yeah, right on top. Great right here protection override program added so this will allow us to go to protectrons and turn them into what we want them to do so now we have our character who's pretty much got getting to the point where he's becoming into that robotic almost jedi samurai fighter that we're looking for i know that fighting a robots with whacking them with metal objects doesn't exactly appeal as the smartest thing for a person to do but i think it will be pretty cool once we get the electricity going on our character so I'm looking forward to that especially. Now let's see if we can go find ourselves a Protectron to try this out on. Before we run into the Protectron, I think it'll make sense to kind of play through our character to give you an idea of how we kind of expect what we'll be doing. For one, our character is going to focus on sneaking and melee weapons, right? To then sneak up on robots and make them work for us. Uh, I think it would be really cool to see if we could sneak up on a turret and make that work for us. That would be a pretty cool example. Uh, we also use, so no guns is one of the main parts of the character, but mines are allowed, uh, grenade throws are allowed, they're all kind of expected to be a part of what we do. Wow, feral ghouls coming up behind us. Interesting outcome. Bam! Sli slice them up. Use that machete. Oh, I love it. So we need to, oh god, we would a lot of fun to pick up, block, oh I didn't block that, oh mine again, mine again, whoo, whoo -wee. oh mine on this side, okay, there we go, slice him down, take cover again, alright, oh, I don't have enough of that, oh, okay, he got him, Jesus Christ, okay, uh, yeah, so a lot of this kind of going on, a lot of, Ducks and covers and stuff. Um, oh, poor dog getting shot like that. Don't do it, dude. Just get, just come back behind. I, I'm a dad. I'm a dad. Well, okay. I think a medex will be important here. And go. Our character is also going to be taking advantage of. Oh wow, we're just running through mines. <laughs> oh, can I teleport upwards to that? Oh, I can't, unfortunately. Wow, we're almost dead. Let's pull off a little bit. My dog is fine. Come on, boy. Limp over here. Come on. You're f okay, you know what? You're use a step back to heal him. I love the game's like, come on, Kublai. Kublai, help your dog. Help your dog, Kublai. I'm like, hold on, there's a surgical scalpel. Help your dog. Newsstand. Kublai. Oh, hey -o. Nice far jump. 
Oh. Try to get that weapon out of his hand would be really nice. Uh-oh. Oh. And there you go. So, it is on survival. And one of the differences that we would typically have here is this would mean the death of this character. And a lot of times in my typical permadeaths. But we're going to do things a little differently since we're rolling cars down the street. Anyway, let's go look for that Protectron. Okay, so I happen to know there's a Protectron in this Kendall Hospital here. It's actually a railroad spot. There's also a ton of ghouls that have just decided that now is the right time to come up and start trying to fight me. So uh, we're going to deal with that real quick. Um, they're, uh, they're doing a good job of taking me out. Um, I think it might be a good idea to, there we go, get some circles going. Not a lot of experience fighting on survival as a melee guy. Um, especially after the fact that we just died a moment ago. So let's, uh, let's try some more of our explosives and see how much more beneficial we can get with some of that happening right now. Uh, definitely designed for more of a robot fighting area. Uh, good luck, dog. Nice. Dog seems to be doing just fine. Can take a freaking oh, that's a legendary blowfly. Grenade. Um. Uh, did that hurt the blowfly at all? I didn't see it do that. Well, let's pop back into having some healing because whenever you're playing a character that is on survival, it's good to sometimes just eat something health-wise to just have a constant healing effect going on. Let's pop up strength right now too, make us a little bit stronger. Uh, a lot of drugs are used when you're playing one of these harder focused survivals as well. I mean. There's a real benefit to doing it because it's your character is just you know what let's actually you no know we're gonna do this and then we're gonna pop a jet Ooh, nice oh this is working out great hit him with a critical now where'd the bloat fly go where am i holy crap did i just teleport yeah i did i teleported far Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Legendary Black Blowfly is the one we care about. There we go. Hopefully, I got something pretty sick from this. Grab some melee weapon. Uh, I'm out of stuff. Okay, well. Bam. Okay, finished you off. Subway token. Now, uh, let's see. What the hell? How cool is this gun? Why is it on the character who's... Freaking melee only. <laughs> How cool is that? Does 10 extra damage of cryo? Ugh. Disappointed. Alright, so I have a challenge for us right now. I want to see if we can sneak through this entire area to the Protectron and send it on a crazy attack mode. Um, there's a lot of raiders in here. And there's a lot of robot stuff that we kind of have to watch out for. But our character, being a sneaky character, should be able to make it through relatively okay. Um, at least if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But, wow. Even with uh, all our extra <laughs> sneak additives, it's still not enough to kill the guy. Fortunately, I need to go in that direction. There is a, it's a, an electric shocky defibrillator one. Let's just keep moving, scooting this way. See if maybe how far we can get around him. It seems like to me though, there's not gonna really be much choice. So let's go ahead and just hit him with a critical. Nice. Wow. Sliced through it pretty hard. Uh, apparently somebody saw that. I don't see where they saw that. There's a turret right above us. There you go. Keep scooting over. Oh, there's a dude. Slice! Slice! It's always a bit of a bummer when your ability to slice out the opponent's weapons tends to apply to only these really weak dudes. Alright, I think the robot we're looking for is in this direction. Oh, hey -o. Bad choice, big guy. Bad choice. God, I love Machete. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, let's see. Is it... It's... Yep, here we go. Okay, close the door. Nope. Nobody come in here. I'm working. Now we do the override program, protector on control, uh, active, choose personality mode. There we go. Now, so you have to actually load the tape in for it to work. I got really confused when I was trying to do that. Um, let's see, hijack VIP. All right, we got that, override. Set to admin group, allied, cool. 
Nice. Uh, disengage safety sensors. Oh, uh oh, no, no, never mind. Please load that back up. Back. Nice. Now we got it back. Yeah, uh, eject hollow tape. That'd be nice. Thank you. Assignment. Assignment received. Escort V I P. Perfect. Greetings, sir or madam. I will be your personal escort during your visit to name of operational area. Perfect. All right, buddy. Let's uh, let's go defibrillate some people. Please. Go, robot, go! Uh, a little bit of what it's like to play automatron now. How are you doing? Oh, you're doing just fine. All right, let's just see how this guy goes. I love how they lumber up the like the stairs, just doop, 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 all right, go get him, Protectron. Show us what you can do. Clear. Clear. Robot battle. Let me. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so try two. Um. Oh wow, God. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> Wow, this is a lot of fun to watch this. Let me get a hit in so I can get some. Oh, God. So I can get. Oh, geez. Big electric hit. And dead. All right, round two. Let's see how this guy does. Keep it up, big guy. Keep it action. Yeah, robot, robot battle. Welcome to Automatron. <laughs> there you go, dudes. Okay, so we have our character who is now rocking out doing his thing running around we have the guy he's able to hack robots he's able to use swords and the like we'll see if that was a terrible idea especially because the freezing pistol oh oh my does that look really cool um if i get to a point where i'm looking at that gun and i'm like okay okay dudes little quick switch if it's just hard enough I'll use some dev codes and maybe we'll do that. But I like using the sword slicing version because I think that would be kind of fun. But if things change up and we want to do it differently, we can. We have the power to. So, anyway, dudes, thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what we saw, please leave a like if you want to see more. Hit the subscribe button underneath me. And remember, Automatron comes out tomorrow. This was the introduction to the character that we're playing. Oh, they got their robotic powers, what robot powers they can use, and that kind of thing. So, anyway, may the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face, dudes. See you later. Bye.